Hello, hello. This is Eileen Felix, and today I want to get real with Eileen about cleanses, energetic cleanses that help us spiritually, that help us mentally, even sometimes physically, um, to help us let go through transitions crawl out of depression settle down our anxiety there's so many ways and where egg well just cleanses including egg cleanses including smoke cleanses sound cleanses music food cleanses can help us in a 360 way not just one way so during this spooky spooky month i did want to make this little series about different types of cleanses that i have tried and that definitely are helpful to us as energetic beings energetic beings now that's one thing that a lot of people don't realize or don't understand it's like eileen how are we energetic beings what are you talking about and another great way is to get a cat <laughs> cats really help cleanse your space your home and their purring actually cleanses your aura as well interestingly enough <laughs> um another thing i just added right now is crystals so crystals are another reason why people got really into crystals is that they also have properties that initiate cleanses in your energetic aura and then some crystals even you know can really change people's energy their vibe um, some crystals can give you like headaches some crystals shoot your energy up you know to the point that you get a headache some crystals deplete you because they are getting rid of like the bad vibes that you have and of course that would mean that whatever in this video works for you it might not work for the person next to you whatever works for them might not work for you that's why for me I personally went through like all the things in order to figure out what cleanses work for me water is a really great way to cleanse for yourself intention through water water falls natural springs um, in the shower even just while you're drinking water having the intention of let this water carry all the energy away bad vibes away excess energy away anxieties away depression away you know the things I'm worrying about like let it uh, relax me and you know being able to articulate out your intentions it's kind of like telling it to yourself you know some people say like that sounds crazy you're like talking to yourself and it's like well are you talking to yourself because you're kind of telling the room your home the vibe around you this is what you want this is your intention and you're directing it toward cleansing you're directing it toward hey I see you I don't like it I don't like this bad vibe so now I need you to exit the premises my body my aura my room whatever right so like you know in baptisms they have the baby I am not Catholic I know people that are Catholic but my family's not Catholic my family's Christian and that's the reason why like I got so into this kind of stuff too because there's not really like a way besides prayer, which is magic, which is intention in order for like Christians to like cleanse themselves, right? And I feel like a lot of Christians have a lot of bad vibes because they don't ritualistically do cleansings such as some, you know, like for example, like I said, the Catholics, they do baptisms and they have like rosaries and they have like intention setting rituals. And then there's also um smoke okay so i guess that's one other thing christianity does kind of have the burning of sage or burning of you know um palo santo um uh, that's not christian but i know they burn frankincense in some churches and the burning of smoke 
cleanses the aura and the energy in the room around you even during egg cleanses which is going to be a, a take part in this video series how to do it how to perform it yourself although there's plenty of egg cleanse videos on youtube there's plenty of people who talk about what you can do and how you can do it to yourself and how you can do it to others i even just did it to my nine-year-old son and something came up that i didn't expect in the egg cleanse um but that's something that i even had to like talk to him about and which was like how to stand up for yourself so um in that way we need to teach others ourselves the people around us that it's okay to be part of this ritualistic thing for yourself um i even saw a video that said like asked if this was witchcraft sorry my cat's meowing um so first of all to understand any of this hubla blah that i'm even talking about um, we're gonna have to talk about energy and vibration and how we are all energetic beings right so we carry an aura and the aura is because of the moving energy that happens in our body and you can even say it goes down to our heart pumping so the heart pumps to the right side to the right side right so everything moves to the right through our arms through the right leg through the left leg up through the left arm back to your heart right now this thumping like a cat's purr this thumping this energy move in motion motion emotion too is constantly moving within you right and so as this is moving within you it's creating like a vibration a frequency outside of you and you know i love seeing i haven't yet to do one and there's a place actually in chinatown but i would love to do one of those aura readings where they have you against like a black um curtain and they use this camera that kind of filters through it has a long exposure and the way they they do it is they print out a photo and it literally show you like the color of your aura around you and it's really neat it's something i have yet to do myself but you're constantly carrying this vibe this aura around you right like as the young kids say <laughs> and it's so important to cleanse ourselves, especially because we live in a city like as for me i don't know about you guys but as for me my family grew up in my dad's side is mexican my mom's side salvadorian so growing up in like a small town you don't really interact with like a lot of people and you only interact with like your people right especially if you're like a housewife like you're never leaving your house and then that way sometimes your energy gets pent up built up just because you're always in your house too so it's not only like the way that you're you're surround yourself with strangers and other people but it's also like the way that you kind of you know if you stay at home by yourself it could get bogged down you could get lethargic you can get like slow down like even though you're sleeping 10 12 hours you still feel tired you know but being in a city in comparison to our you know family and our ancestors that are from small towns they don't really you know they don't really expose themselves they didn't expose themselves as much as we do now to like a ton of people right like and then i myself i'm in a profession i'm a massage therapist so whereas i touch people right so that is literally like i am taking their energy and i am giving them my energy and i have had clients that over time become more daring <laughs> thank you very much they come more daring they speak up more they feel more comfortable in themselves more confident and they take action more because i'm literally giving them that energy whether i like it to or not or whether they want to or not like it's happening you know so like even in the sense of like your cubicle and in your space and then on the computer on your phone you know like the radioactive waves um that are coming through while you're sleeping from your phone that's why i put my phone like on 
airplane mode now um the tv you know the sounds from the outside like i just bought this really neat um soundproof thick 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 curtain and it has immediately affected the way i feel in my house like it has blocked out so much noise so much sounds because i literally live off a highway right so i hear it all the time all the time all the time all the time girl and i'm overcome by all these sounds and noises and smells and people and you know they're my neighbors talking and she's loud she's talking outside her door i could literally hear everything coming in so all these vibrations these noises these scents these energies they affect you and that's why cleanses whichever one that works for you um is so important and vital and i even like to do them like seasonal so besides you know cleaning your house and having the vibe change or having a um incense like burning the smoke of the incense around you smoke has a lot of history they also call it smudging um, another way is just like a smoke cleanse but basically it's like intentionally removing the ions and the vibe in your room in your house in your presence um now What's interesting about this hubla bla, as I call it, is that it is actually very much scientifically proven at this point. Whereas a lot of indigenous cultures and people would do these practices like egg cleanses, that's from Mesoamerican, you know, history, curanderos, shamans. Um, there's the smoke cleanses, they would do that with the egg cleanse there's prayer and intention on the egg on yourself in order to purify yourself you can cleanse even the water you drink you can pray over it pray over the food you know there's that that christians a lot of religious people do over their food um before they eat the food before they ingest the food they pray over it the intention the energy of putting it out there um before you consume it crystals is a big thing right now a lot of millennials like myself and gen zers we are very we're so sensitive to energy and our vibe that we can sense the changes in our aura through crystals in our house in our room and then um believe it or not there's crystals in our tv in our phones like that's the way they work um through the metal m metals Ooh. <laughs> metals in our phones and our TVs and stuff and uh, okay sound sound is a big thing right or 